talk seriously. Are you ready? We need to talk adult talk now. Uh, when are you going to do your will? Have you done your will? Do you have your affairs in order? Or oh, I know you're sitting at home going, oh, not this again. You still haven't done it, have you? It's National Wills Week, which is going to end on Friday. So if you haven't done it, don't panic. Well, actually panic a little bit, but you need to get it done. You can get an opportunity to get your will drafted uh, for free. That's how important this is. I'll tell you how we'll do that in a couple of minutes as I bring in now the Law Society's Inkomisa Sujenwa joining us uh, this morning. And hello to you, uh, Inkomisa. Good to have you with us. Why are we so bad at doing our wills? It's something we don't think about until, sadly, it's too late. Why are we so bad at this? Morning, Gareth, and morning to your viewers at home. Um, I think, basically, Gareth, it's the fear of planning or even the fear of thinking about death itself that that's what delays many people or they become hesitant to draft wills um, or even plan for what would happen should they no longer be with us so i think it's really about the fear gareth do you think more than anything do you think it's because it's an uncomfortable conversation to have perhaps even more uncomfortable than the birds and bees talk with our parents Absolutely, Gareth, and, and I think even more so for, for those who are more matured and, and more elderly, the thought for them to have to think or even plan about death scares them, you know, and I speak from personal knowledge of this. Mm -hmm. What happens, just before we talk about how anyone watching can get their will drafted uh, for free, just unpack the mess that a family is left with, that loved ones is left with, uh, loved ones are left with, I'm sorry, I phrased that very badly, are left with if you don't leave a will for them to use upon your passing, when it comes to estate planning, when it comes to the division of assets. It's a real mess when, when there's no will in place, isn't it? Um, absolutely, Gareth. And especially, one can think of many situations um, or scenarios. Take, for instance, if one is um, coming from a family, a big family, and more especially in the African families, where one is coming from a big family, is an unmarried um, single woman, and has no children or has children, um, and gets to also take care of many other dependents and siblings. So you may tend to find that where there is no direction in a form of a will, there, there would be a lot of disputes within families and loved ones. Um, and at, at, at the end of the day, you may find also a situation where even your assets land up on, on the hands of people that you did not have the desire for them to, to have, yeah. or where you are living behind um, minor children and you don't put directions in place. You put a risk in place for those minor children not also to be properly taken care of, even though um, those things may well be handled by the master and things like that. But bottom line is that when you die without a will, we call it you die interstate, and your assets will then be distributed in accordance with the Interstate Act. It is a fair act. Um, its provisions are fair. But at the same time, you, you don't leave the peace, you know, and you don't leave your loved ones also with the peace of mind that your assets would be distributed in the manner that you would want to. Yeah, suddenly it's amazing when someone passes away, uh, family members that you haven't seen for decades come crawling out of the woodwork, the long lost cousin from a sister that was never actually around suddenly arriving as well. You'd be amazed how messy it gets. What do you actually need to put in a will? Is it this an official document or is this something that I can draft at home on a Word document and just hand it to my wife? Or does it have to be a will that needs to be submitted to a bank or uh, an insurance company, a life policy? Just what's the basics of a will? What actually needs to go in there and who needs to have it? Um, Gareth, the, the will itself is regulated by legislation. Um, there is a Wills Act. It puts out all the necessary provisions on a will, um, how a will becomes valid, the requirements, um, who is competent to draft a will, who's competent to witness a will. So those elements are very important. And as much as you may well be in a position to put together some words and lines and your desires, 
but it may lack a lot, some validity on it. So that's why it's always important and we encourage that one must go to a legal practitioner, in particular attorneys, who are trained and qualified in drafting of wills, in advising of wills. There are other institutions and other professionals who do that kind of work. Um, but we encourage that one must go to a legal practitioner to receive that kind of advice and assistance yeah. because it helps you set up a proper will as to how a will must be set up and what must go into a will. Yeah, you don't want any questions or disputes afterwards because it wasn't drafted properly. Uh, in Comisa, very quickly Absolutely. as I say goodbye to you. So National Wills Week, uh, we know that you can now get your will done free of charge for this week. Just tell me, where am I sending viewers? Where are we sending people? We, we've got legal practitioners, attorneys, firms all around South Africa in all nine provinces that um, have provided the service of drafting a basic will for any individual who wants to come through. One can visit the website of the LSSA um, and make contact and you will be directed to a firm nearby you in any town that you are in within South Africa. Yeah, I'm taking a look at the, the website right now. I'm actually on that page uh, for lssa.org.za. You can see the National Wills Week registration uh, is now open. And Komisa Sotenjwa, good morning and thank you very much for your time. Law Society of SA joining us. So you see it's kind of...